Thanks for tuning in. If you're in, thanks for joining us. By us, I mean me and my many personalities. No, I just mean me and my spirit guides. Thanks for joining us. We're going to tune in to Scorpio energy. I want to know what's going on with my Scorpio energy. Will this be a lover yet? I don't fucking know. Maybe it'll be about money. I don't know. Maybe you're going to win the lotto. Maybe you're going to lose it all. I don't know, and the cards don't either, because only you control your destiny, bitch. But this is, you know, you never know. You might find a message. Right? What do we want to say to the Scorpio energy? Oh, shit. We have a lot of... Uh, uh, the spirit has spoken. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Past energy, Ace of Cups. Pretty uh, self-explanatory, right? The cup runneth over with love. Sweet love. Two of Swords is your current energy. So, there was love. I don't know what happened, because you're sitting there now. Like, like, I can't see. I can't see what's in front of me. I'm blindfolded, but you're not really, because it's just like hanging there, like in the wind. Like, easily, you could take it off. But you don't want to, because you're sitting there holding these swords, guarding, guarding your heart. You're guarding your heart. What happened? Oh my god. Scorpio, I'm sorry. I just felt that. Oh, I'm like this little fox here. Like, hey, Scorpio. Hey. Don't be sitting here in the dark and the cold, guarding yourself with these swords. I mean, yeah, sometimes we gotta guard ourselves, but like, there's no, there's no threat here. Uncover your eyes. You're like, I can't see. Uncover your eyes. Just pull this, pull this little thing off, this little thin fabric scarf off your eyes. No, I don't wanna. I'm gonna guard myself because I don't know what's out there. Oh, but your future energy is strength. Isn't that cute? So the little fox was here with you in your two of swords moment. And then you're there like, aw, that's sweet. I love this card. This deck is so adorable. Like, okay, so I've noticed the tarot readers are like covering up their, uh, their cards. Like the nudie, like, it's like, like the nakedness. Um, this deck doesn't have any, you know, dirty bits in it. I mean, even the old traditional deck, that's not really... I'm not drawing on my cards, I'll tell you that right now, okay? Like, I don't know what that means, that, like, I'm not gonna cover those itty-bitty part... Because I'm gonna pull the deck out now, and it's probably gonna have a nipple. Like, what does that mean? Are you gonna block my video? Psh, eat my cooter, you mother... <laughs> like, seriously? Seriously. Yeah, I don't know. I think tarot readers should, like, band together and be like, Hey, man, I'm not covering the itty parts, the itty bitty, like, it's not suggestive. Get, I can name a thousand things right now more suggestive than the itty bitty parts on, like, the lover's card, which actually is, like, a representation of Adam and Eve. Alright, whatever, man. I mean, don't get me started. Like, don't get me started. No, don't get me started, too. Scorpio energy. Um, oh, the King of Swords came out. I take it that way. Well, <laughs> Alright, so this King of Swords... This King of Swords has to do with, uh... Your Ace of Cups energy. And it's kind of... Kind of interesting in this card that the King of Swords is... I mean... When I first saw this, I was like, is he, like, stabbing that fox? But the fox looks kind of content and uh, doesn't look like it's scared. But, like, it's kind of interesting, you know, holding the sword that way. At any moment, he could just take that fox out. Is that what happened? Were you in a relationship with someone who had this, like, 
big dick, king energy. Like they're righteous, you know, but they use their power. They're like, don't forget, I'm righteous, yeah? I'm honest, I'm up front, I'm a, I'm a fucking king. But any moment I can take this sword and just chop your tail right off. Why is the two of swords here? Oh, that came right out. Oh, temperance. The choice that you were keeping yourself blind from had to do with it. this temperance balance. Pouring one cup into another. Maybe you felt like you had to give too much. You had to pour too much into the cup of this king, king of swords energy. And the outcome is strength. I'm taking him. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is a really nice. All right, look. You went through something. You gave you gave your cup to this uh, King of Swords energy. Put you in a literally. They, I don't know. I'm getting the feels, even though it didn't come out in reverse. Uh, this energy made you feel like. You had to watch your back, maybe. Maybe they misused their power. Because it made you feel like you had to make a choice. You didn't feel balanced. But the outcome is strength. Where you're literally like, the fox here watching its back, here whispering in your ear like, move on, come on. Holding on. When I asked uh, about strength, I got Magician, the Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is like, she sees all, she sees all, her third eye is open. In the background, this is, in this deck, this is like the tower um, image. The tower card image, which I don't care. Wait, like, like, this is just my personal opinion. Whenever I watch, because I watch a lot of readers, and they get the tower, uh, the tower deck. I mean, the tower card when they're you know pulling cards from the deck, and they like go, oh, but in this in this reading, this tower is not you know it's not awful. It means this. The tower is like the worst card you can get. Okay. People are like, oh, death is bad. No, death can, death sometimes is a good card, in my opinion, because it can mean you're, you're leaving behind, like, dead energy, or, you know, you, cut. the tower is the worst card you can get, in my opinion, and in the opinion of, like, tarot. Sorry. I'm, if you, so, in the background, I see, it's just, my eye is drawn to that, because in this deck, specifically, that's the image in the tower card. Um, the tower, the, the worst is behind you. The worst behind you. You're gonna, you're gonna have, a uh, total, f like, insight to everything. You're gonna understand. <clears throat> you're gonna, your magic. You can have fulfillment in the things you wish for. The sun, happiest card in the deck. Supposedly. Um, in my opinion, this this one's kind of dark, but that's just my opinion. So, so your outcome is the High Priestess. You can have a good outcome. You're strong. I could, you're a strong person. Can, uh, give me some insight on the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Can you tell us about the story for this Scorpio? What was going on with the person they were dealing with that they gave their cup to? And they felt like... Talk to me about Scorpio's energy, please, in this story. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. 
Scorpio. <laughs> Clingy, punk, talk is, talk is cheap, you <clears throat> better walk the walk, alright, you better walk that fucking walk, talk is cheap, and you better not pull that shit with a Scorpio, <laughs> are you bananas, who is Scorpio dealing with that they thought they could be, what the fuck, what the fuck, King energy. Don't you know that I'm toxic? Alright, King energy. That's funny. Punk. You fucking punk. <clears throat> this person was clingy. Oh, they were like clingy. Maybe you're the punk and they're clinging on to that punk energy. Uh. This is like punk rocker shit, man. You don't know that this person's toxic? Don't you know that I'm toxic? Tell me about the Scorpio energy. What's going on with this Scorpio's person, man? <laughs> Circle jerk. Running away. Pussycat, pussycat, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Horrible person. Yeah, most people are. <laughs> Am I right? Am I fucking right? Oh, Scorpio. You were dealing with a horrible person. Who's maybe clingy. Do you have a cat? Maybe they have a cat. Maybe they wanted you to pet their pussycat. Meow. Yeah. Well, the first card that came out was that sleep with one eye open. So they were definitely holding back. Dumpster fire. <laughs> Hot and cold. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what that means. What the fuck does that mean? All right. What's, uh, you got any... I mean, there's really no advice. It's over. You're gonna be fine. Now I'm just kind of making fun of the person that you were in a relationship with because they were obviously a horrible person that <laughs> was a dumpster fire, okay? They were, they were a dumpster fire. They were a ho, ho, ho. They were clingy. And they were hot and cold. That's so annoying. I mean, well, I'd rather have someone who's hot and cold, clingy, like, don't be all up. Literally, I drew this little hand, like, clingy, like, up my butt, bro. Like, I can't stand that. Maybe you like it, Scorpio. Maybe they weren't clingy enough. But it's saying they were a horrible person holding back. Running away. A circle jerk. Like, just, I mean, yeah. Punk. They're, they're a fucking punk. They're like, don't you know that I'm toxic? Don't you know you have to sleep with one eye open? Because your king energy, whether you're male or female, you got that you got that king energy and you know talk is cheap. Okay? Okay. Any final advice or something you want to give the Scorpio? They don't really need it, I don't think. I highly doubt any Scorp I feel like only cross watchers would watch this because Scorpios are like, you ain't gonna tell me what I'm feeling. All right, bitch, you don't know. And you're right, I don't. I don't. Fun, love, nightmare. Okay, Th all right, whatever. This is far away, John. Oh my God, yeah, this is all awful. All right, whatever. This person bonding, I would normally say, look, in this, you didn't get to bond. Or you weren't, bo you tried to bond, they were not bonding back. You got blocked. You block them? Probably you block them, being a Scorpio. Because they were a fucking nightmare. They're giving you nightmares. You were wishing they would go away. Far away. Because you'd be drowning in that. Family issues get your tissues. 
Do I need to say more? Probably not. Um, let's see if this... want to give any final messages to the Scorpio? Because I feel like they're going to hate me for this. Because so, like... Alright. Justice, King of Wands. I don't know, you're going to get balance. You're going to get justice. You're going to feel like you have anyway. And you're going to get some new hot... King of Wand cock. I mean... Who could ask for anything more? Alright. That's it, man. Good on you, Scorpio. You didn't even need this reading.